And we back. How long do y'all think it'll take a 99 overall team to lose a championship? And I don't mean like we're throwing a 99 overall team in 2022. We're starting them off in a league where every single player other than themselves are 40 overall. Could this be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years of dominance? We're going to find out today. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let me introduce you to the team. Introducing you to our point guard staff, it is Kenny Beach and 5'7", 150 out of, I don't even know what college. What college did I give him? Oh, Illinois, Chicago. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, 5'7", point guard Kenny Beach. And will his size deter this team from winning a bunch of championships? Maybe. Only time will tell. Next, we have P.J. Hudson. I, some of these names are just going to be completely random. At the shooter guard position, there's Amari Love, 6'11". If you know, you know. Next, we have Frank Washington Jr. Then we have Russell Lopez and Oleg Udrit. At power four, we have Trent Franklin, if you know, you know. And then we have Ian Stanford Odom. What a, why is his name? A, a, a lot of these names, majority of these names are random. And then at the center position, we got Zach Hendricks, if you know, you know. And then a bunch of Ruben uh, Bushes who I guess I can allocate them to play different positions because they're all 99 overalls. And because they're all 99 overalls and they have 99 everything, they can play everything. So, yeah, we're going to have a third string point guard that's uh, 6'11", a third string shooting guard 6'11", so on and so forth. They're all under contract for six years, and every six years I'm going to renew that. Now, if you look across the league, um, the best player not on the Chicago Bulls, because, of course, they had to put him on the Chicago Bulls, is like Giannis, LeBron, Nikola Jokic, who... It doesn't make sense that they still have badges because I could have swore I took all the badges away. Like, why does Joel Embiid only have 13, but for some reason, I didn't get all of LeBron's or Jokic's? I, I, I don't know. How much would that hurt this challenge? Only time will tell. You know, I, I guess it could hurt immediately. But I doubt it, because when you have a 99 overall team, I'm expecting this team to just go on and win a ton. And I mean a ton of championships. You know what? I'm going to be a little selfish. I'm going to be a little stingy with it for early on. Let Kenny Beach be the first option. 5'7", a point guard. First game. Yeah, triple-double for Kenny Beecham. If I can win a couple MVPs, I'd take those. But this is what we're doing. For years and years at a time, we held them to 30 points. Now, the way... My mark is always being bold and coming. What the heck? That didn't happen. Now, you're asking, Kenny, what? how does the league get better? It's going to be through draft classes. So, every draft class is going to be auto-generated. I'm not going to change a thing. But Dan Augustine could potentially be the team or on the team that can take down the Chicago Bulls team. So everybody's starting off at a 40 overall, but as the thing progresses, the teams will get better and better and better. I turned off salary cap because I know that's a big thing when it comes to these videos. So there's no salary cap. This Chicago Bulls team will stay the same no matter what. They're all 19 years old. Um, and it will be crazy if they continue to win until they all retire. I don't know what we do at that point. Do we just reset? I don't even know. But as you can see, I mean, if we lose any games in the first two to three seasons, that's... That's disappointing. One of my biggest fears about doing a video like this is that the game is going to crash and it's going to kill all of our progression. That's a real life possibility when you're talking about 2K and simulating when you're changing overalls. So let's just keep a fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. And what I need from you in the comment section, first of all, you need to leave a like on the video. Even if you got to this point, if you're not used to leaving likes on the video, leave a like, bro. We still upload 2K content even though 2K is trash. And you clicked on it. I appreciate you. But secondly, comment down below how many years you think it's going to take. And we'll see if you're correct. How many years until this this great, notorious, uh, the best team of all time, Chicago Bulls team, gets taken out? It ain't going to be year number one. I'll tell you that much. I got outshined by my own uh, teammate, bro. Frank Washington. First of all, where are all the badges? Didn't I give you max badges? I don't know. Frank Washington Jr. wins MVP. And, and he won uh, Rookie of the Year. Trent Franklin wins Sixth Man of the Year. Frank is just going to be the greatest player of all time. Okay, great. Everybody's wearing the number 30 in Chicago. It's like an honorary number. Once you hit 99 overall club, you get the, the number 30. The only person to you one most approved. Okay. The only person on this team to not wear the number 30 is this cat right here. He just wants to be different. He had to get the number 13. Something about him. He just thinks he's better than everybody else on the roster. Well, in reality, he ain't. Obviously, he not. But, he, I mean, he's good enough to make an All-NBA team. On the second team, we got three people that came off our bench. And then LeBron who still, no matter what, and it's probably all badge related, he still averaged eight points per game on 22% shooting. That's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Marquise Chris is the All-NBA player. If you would have told the Suns that when they drafted him in 2016, they'd have been super happy. We're going to get to the point where Marquise Chris is All-NBA. They'd be like, yes, we did it. But only in this world does he do that. Okay. So, oh, Kenny Beecham, all-defensive team. That's great to see. At 5'7", the shortest player to ever make an all-defensive team. So we won every game. You knew that, right? Yeah, okay, you knew that. Um, here are the stats. I led us in scoring and second in rebounding. 
at 5'7", and second in passing, but but not MVP? Come on, man, that's, that's disrespectful. All right, so we're gonna sweep this through, okay, bada boom, bada bang. A lot of this depends on how good these draft classes end up getting. You're number one, check, Chicago Bulls, done. I'm gonna go to every one of the drafts, not to watch it, obviously, but I just want to see, like, the top prospect, top player is this Dan Augustine dude. He's 19. He's 6'8". You know what? I'm going to turn on. I'm going to turn it on so that people are coming right out of high school. Because that's going to make better players, you know, 18-year-olds getting drafted. And then in three years, boom, they 90-plus overall players. But Dan Augustine comes in and he's immediately the 16th highest ranked player in the entire NBA behind the 15 people on our roster. So shout out to Dan Augustine, bro. Good, good luck on your future endeavors, you know. The, the league is going to need you to turn up and try to take out the Chicago Bulls team. They have a draft and stats guy, Rudy Toscano. They got Lyle Newton and all of these guys, but none of them are going to like really make a difference. If you smart, which it looks like the 76ers GM is, a lot of these GMs actually. Okay. You should have more than one. Than, yo. How did you get him? Do we just have to cut some people? And then that's how we get to the point where you're on a different team. I don't know. I'm lowering your overall because that's not part of the challenge. This Ruben Bush wanted wanted to go to somewhere else. Pfft. No, you're not. And there's one more out here too. So yeah, no, nah, uh-uh. We're not doing that. Stop it. Imagine being in a position as a team that you're so good that you can afford to cut, just straight up cut a 90 overall player, 99 overall player. He ain't even getting no PT. So we probably did, we did him a favor. Yeah, we were doing him a favor. But no favors around here, man. If you ain't playing for the Chicago Bulls at 99 and your name Ruben Bush, you can't play. So what does that mean for us then? We got all 99s and then this guy. Cliff Morris is about to get the freest championship in NBA history. From West Wheeling Juset University. Never even heard. You know what I have heard of that university. Hold on. We actually had a player in like 2K19 that went there. And I remember Googling it. And I remember being like, maybe somebody on this roster watches my videos. And somebody on that roster hit me up and said, hey, I go to this school. I play guard for this school. And I saw your video. Ain't that crazy? That was years ago, bro. That was years ago, though. And, and that was back when 2K was actually busting. Nowadays, it's not. Yeah. Rest in peace to 2K, bro. What the heck? N ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh, well, he averaged 36 rebounds per game. We don't even win executive of the year when we just had another perfect seat. This man took MVP from Chicago because his rebounds, which makes sense, right? Because nobody in Chicago is going to average 36 rebounds because everybody's good. He just came in and shot 40% from the field and won MVP. And look, it's only one bull player, and it's me to make an all You? Oh, we feel super disrespected. I mean, but when you look at it, he averaged almost 30 boards. He averaged almost 30 boards. He averaged 20 boards. Okay. I mean, does it matter who wins awards? No, none of y'all going to beat us in the series. None of y'all going to take a game away from us in the series. So it don't matter who wins MVP. And the person that won MVP didn't even make the playoffs. He played for the Pistons. Didn't even make the play-in. Who, who, who MVP is that? Give it to Kenny Beecher. All right, see this year's NBA draft. See if we got some studs. I'm looking for 85 rolls. I did turn up the the... Draft class quality, which is that we should get better draft classes than normal. And we got a draft of stats dude that went number six that is an 82 at, at uh, 20 years old. That's a steal, low key. Uh, but this draft class in general, not that great. But you know what? It might be a deep draft class, and that's probably what we're going for here. Now, everybody on my team should still be under contract. Now, if I see another Ruben Bush on a different team or somebody else on our from our original roster on a different team, I'm questioning 2K's validity because I don't give them permission to, to be releasing my players. Uh, Dan Augustine is up to an 85 for the Warriors, so he he might make some noise a little bit. I ain't even really been looking at the records of other teams out there, uh, but they got a roster that's more, no 40s? Okay, they got a few 40s. Clay Thompson and Draymond Green in the 40s that are still there. Steph Curry, gone, washed. All right, let's go to year three. Not four, it's just the greatest to ever do it. Kitty beats him. You know, with his little stat line of 28 and 6. He did it. 59, 40, 99 club. One of his kind. And the defensive player of the year, 5'7". Gotta love the short kid going out there and doing the dirty work. And I guess Nate McMillan's our coach. We said, forget Billy Donovan. Thank you for the two 82 and no seasons. But we think we can get somebody else that can do better than that for some reason. So the initial six-year contract is done. It's wraps. Um, and we have not lost a game yet. But there is some optimism because if I look through every roster, 
We have some 85 overalls. Rudy Toscano, remember him? He's pretty good. Uh, but we haven't had any losses. But some of these games are ending like 150 to 102. So teams are getting dramatically better, which is fun. Because one day we'll lose a game. And then eventually, eventually, in 17 years it feels like, we'll lose a playoff series. But as of right now, you know who's been killing the entire NBA? This little fella right here. This little fella right here has, uh, let me let me go ahead and look at this accolades. Four MVPs, six championships, six all-star appearances, six all-defensive teams, two time defense player of the year. Yeah. Th this is basically what I pictured when I was like 10 years old growing up. I didn't picture that I'd only grow to 5'7", but I, I thought that I could do this stuff. I was wrong. But hey, that's why we have video games, right? So we can we can live um, lives that we normally wouldn't live. So here we go on year number seven, technically. And uh, you see, they're putting up like a, a hundred points right here from the Houston Rockets. They got a few people over there, you know? We also got this guy who's just unstoppable, basically. Eight for, eight for 12, three offensive rebounds at five, seven. So yeah, uh, eventually we're going to lose a game. But I, I don't see that happening this season because we haven't had a game that was within 40, it feels like. And we probably won't for some time, you know. It's go it's gonna happen though. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. You gotta think about it. We're just seven years in. We're just seven years in, and we're seeing teams have 90s. Th there's Dan Augustine. He's killing a game, uh, but it's only a few 90s. So, you know, you're gonna need. I think you're gonna need multiple 90s to take us out in a regular season game. You're gonna need like four, five of them joints to beat us in a seven. So I, I don't know how you're gonna do that. Okay, this isn't the first loss, but it was a 10 point game. And now I haven't looked at the score of every single one, but this is the closest I remember off the top of my head. The Brooklyn Nets made it interesting. Are they a good team? They're a playoff team, um, and they they did it. Our average margin of victory, I'm gonna guess, is like 40. It's it's 50. It's 50. So uh, them be or uh, losing by 10 is like, whoa, we did something there, but they didn't. They didn't. We're in the year 2029. We just started the year 2029, and no team has taken a win off the 99 overall team. I haven't even been paying attention to see what other teams are at least good. Uh, it looked like the Toronto Raptors are second in the power rankings. They're they're solid, but like how solid? 83, 82, 85, 81. Yeah, not solid enough is the answer to that question. Houston, they got an 88 in Jamal Kane, but that's it. You know, the worst team in the league, they still out here struggling. 10 win Minnesota Timberwolves. They got 180. What the heck have they been doing for the last nine seasons? Did they only have 180? Isn't we nine seasons in? You know? I don't know. We're not gonna lose for another two years, I feel like. We lost the game. It is the year 2030, and we lost our first game to the 76ers, who have Clifford Murphy, 29-year-old player that was drafted in 2022, which was basically the first year we started this. He just led them to a win over us. Wow. Um, Kenny Beecham, former MVP, terrible game. 4 for 10, 40% feel unacceptable. But we lost our first game of the video. Now, what is our point? Dif our point differential is still like 50. So this is just like extreme. I'm not going to say coincidence because that feels like the wrong word to use. But like, this is not a game we should have lost. They're on a seven game, seven game win, seven game win streak. So they're doing their thing. We just, they caught, we caught them at the wrong time. Interesting. And if the playoffs were to start right now, we'd match up against them in the second round if they could get out of the first round. But we lost our first game. It took almost 10 seasons, almost 10 seasons, but we finally lost our first game. So does that does that change the amount of years you think it's going to take for us to lose a series to not win the championship? I don't know, because I feel like we're going 81 and one this year. So we saw them in the second round and uh, we took care of business. Almost 30 point win, uh, almost 40 point win. I'm not good at math, but you just take my word for it. Uh, then we beat them by 60 and then we beat them by 20 something and then yeah So we 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 did what we had to do. We took care of business uh, Kenny Beecham MVP of the league again. He didn't take it lightly man they, He lost his first game of his NBA career and year number 10 basically So, you know every time we go against 76 from this point on it's like revenge time but As you can see there the entire team is 28 years old now uh, we just got a couple new people, I guess, who aren't contributing because they can't get PT over the other guys. But here we go, man. Could this be the year we lose two games? And in the end of the day, we get three games. And in the end of the day, we get four games. I don't know. But I am having a lot of fun just watching time go by and seeing the margin of victory go down just a little bit more every single season. 
You know, we got some hoopers in the NBA now. It's not, it's not just uh, the... I can't say it's not just the Chicago Bulls show because we're still uh, only lost one game. But if you look at the entire league outside of our team, we got Igor, 93. We got Jesse, Jesse O'Connor. He's only 24 years old. This guy could be the dude that bring us down, but we'd have to see him in the finals to do that. Uh, then we got Dan, who's still around at 27. We got Jamal Kane. So I'm actually surprised that 10 years in, we only have three other 90 overall players, but we got a bunch of 89s, and I'm guessing like this 89, Henry White, he's going to progress, or even this 89, Nick Cannon, uh, Nathaniel Cannon, he's going to get up to a 90, so, you know, in due time, in due time, 23 year overall, Aiden ba uh, Adrian uh, ba ba Bosch, is that's the word that's pronounced there, um, so again, and in time, in time, eventually there will be a team, or it won't be, I guess that's a possibility too. I think you get 50 years of 2K before they tell you, you you done, bro. I, go, go outside. That's what 2K tells you once you hit your 50 of simulation. Go outside. We're not giving you your 50 more. So I guess there's a world where we don't ever not win. We don't ever lose. And 2K tells us to go touch grass. You know what? I will, I will do that for you, 2K. I will go touch the grass if we get to year 50. But if we go to 49... No, I'll sit in my room and just do something else. Second loss in the video happens in 2032 to the Orlando Magic, where Cam Peterson, 27-year-old guard out of Wisconsin, gave us 34. And then Oscar um, Houston, only a 79 overall out of Pepperdine, gave us some buckets too. That is just the second loss of the entire video. And that is... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten full seasons through. Ten and a half seasons through. We have two regular season losses. We 16 and 0 every single playoff series or every single playoff run. And it's just been domination. And you know what's even crazier? Even with the draft class quality all the way up, we're not even getting studs. Oh, never mind. This guy's a stud. He's, <laughs> he's 20 and 90 overall. Okay, he's a stud. But like... I'm not, I'm going into these drafts and I'm seeing like 77, 78, which is cool, but we ain't had that 85 overall prospect get drafted first overall. The one that could be the, the potential savior of this entire challenge. We ain't seen that happen yet. We 10 years in. I don't know what's, why 2K22 um, draft classes are different than like previous years. Previous years, if you put the draft class quality up to 100, it was wraps. You, we, saw, we just lost a playoff game. Hold on. Hold on. We lost a playoff game to uh, this guy, 93 overall. This guy's a stud. Uh, but a playoff game, but not a playoff series. Yep. Yeah. Uh, when you used to put the 99 overall, like, draft class quality, you were getting, like, multiple 80s per year. Nowadays, 2K then nerfed draft class quality. Completely nerfed it. Things are getting real, y'all. Two losses in a matter of a couple weeks. The New York Knicks ended up taking us out because uh, Jordan Andrews hooped. And then over here, the Kings. The Kings did the thing. That's two losses on the year. That is the most we've ever had. Could that mean we're going to lose the playoff series in the year 2020 or 2033? Pop, pop. Nope. Nope. It won't. That's not what it means. Okay. This is an interesting season. Um, four losses. Four losses. We doubled last year, which was a bad year for us. So right now, on the current trajectory of the NBA, uh, next year we'd have eight losses. Then the year after that, we'd have 16. Then we'd have 32. And then after that, we'd be a sub-500 team. If that's the way it goes. It's not, I don't think it's going to go that way, but it's possible. I also reset everybody's age to 20 because they were getting old and then they were going to start to regress. And I don't really like that. Jess O'Connor is the real deal. Interesting. We have multiple people hitting 90 overall club. Jess O'Connor plays for the number two seed of Brooklyn Nets. Will we see them? We just lost a game one. Hold on. Okay, 3-1. Hey, they took game one, and they were like, this is it's our time. This is our time. It wasn't. They had that momentum, but that was it. Okay, but that was the eighth seed. Who knows? Miami next round. Actually, do I have to go slow roll it? No. Are we going to get... No, we will not go against O'Connor. We're actually gonna go against Rudolph, the red, the red nose 76er. That's a win. Okay. It's not happening this year, y'all. It's not happening. I'm this is like I'm rooting against myself when you think about it. 
Kenny Beecham is 11-time NBA champion, 13-time, I'm mean, 13-time NBA champion, 11-time MVP. I'm rooting against, bro. Because I know this video like 20 minutes long at this point, but I've been recording for well more, like a lot. Do you know how long it takes to simulate 13 seasons? Then in between, you got to change um, contracts. You can't change contracts in bulk in 2K for some reason. So I got to individually go to go to Trey Franklin, go all the way down to his contracts and give him more money. I got to do that for 15 plays. So I'm just saying that we've been recording for a long time and um, I, it's not even close to happening. How does every team not have at least 190 yet? I'm so confused. I need the Brooklyn Nets to become a super, super duper team. You know, they're doing all right. They got 290s or had 290s. This guy might walk in free agency. I don't know. But that's like our only chance of losing right now. Whatever happened in the Western Conference, I don't really care about. The likelihood of a Western Conference team taking us out, maybe not that high. It's I need somebody in the East to be dominant other than the Chicago Bulls. And that's, that's going to be tough. All right, so we're like 16, 17 years in. And I have decided to take a break. Um, so I'm going to give everybody back to their original contracts uh, worth six years. And I know I'm, I'm basically um, not paying them the right amount for them to be 16-time NBA champions, giving them $1.4 million. But hey, this is the life you signed up for. You know, you want to be known as the greatest players to ever play. <laughs> you got to take... You got to take pick. Okay, I'll be back later. You won't. It won't be no difference from you, but for me, I, I'll be back. All right, and we and we back um, with part two. I mean, it's still part one for y'all, but part two for me. I'm. It's later in the day. It's 2046. I think last time we talked was like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, uh, because nothing has even changed. Nobody's even come close. I just renewed everybody's contract. Everybody's 32, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make them young back in their uh, their young years, so we can reset this. Actually. Kenny Beachman is only a 98 now, so maybe that's that's the thing that's going to put us over the hump. Bro, we have dominated the all of the association. But the reason, look at this. Look at Kenny Beachman, just the greatest of all time. He's he's the number one leading scorer in NBA history. You know, him and, him and Frank, him and Frank Washington Jr., a bunch of his teammates. You know, he still ain't got as many field goals as Kareem. Because <laughs> Kareem was putting up uh, video game numbers, but he's doing all right. Um, either way, so the reason I'm stopping now... Um, we are in 2026, which means that we're 23 years into the future-ish, which basically is close to like the halfway point. Remember, 2K tells you at year 50, you're done, partner. So we're close to the halfway point. But another reason why I want to stop is because there's low-key some teams out there. Now, I told you in the very beginning that we stopped and we turned off uh, salary cap so teams can get together because I think that was the only way things are going to work. If you turn on salary cap... Teams are going to max out at like 290 overalls. And of course, in order to beat this God Squad, you're probably going to need multiple over 90, 90 overalls. So let me introduce you to a few of the teams that could cause us some harm. Um, I mean, there's a few like, okay, this one probably not so much. Uh, where are the one? Okay, so the Orlando Magic have 290 overall players with a bunch of scrubs. Okay, the Dallas Mavericks have 97 overall Ty Tyrone Love. They got a couple 85 plus people, some 84s, and they're young. I mean, their star players not so much, but they got uh, a 22 year old 85 overall player. They've been in the league for a few years now, and they got some. They got some stuff basically, but they're a Western Conference team, so they'd have to go through the entire Western Conference and meet us in the finals to knock us off. Another Western Conference team. I wish these were Eastern Conference teams. Like I, I I'm rooting for history. Um, as far as us getting to the point where it's a 50-year video, but I also want to see something happen too. But the Denver Nuggets are another team. They got a 95 overall player here in e Eugene Burks, but they also got a point guard, shoot guard, another point guard, and two power forwards that are interesting. They got no center play really, but another Western Conference team that could cause some harm. Out East, it's the Eastern Conference team. They got Richie Hurley, who's a 93, but he's only 23. They got a nice, super young core here. Monty Felder. Super young core, so maybe in a few years they're a team that we need to worry about. And that's kind of it, I guess. I mean, I don't know. We're still dominating the league. We don't lose a lot of games. I think the most amount of losses we've had in a single season was four. So, based on that, we probably still got a long way to go. But see, I just want to check in with y'all. I want to check in with y'all because, well, there are some teams that might cause some problem, but maybe not so. I, I mean, we're a month into the season. Nobody's ever been super close. Other than that, I mean... The Boston Celtics right here only lost, they lost by single digits. What's our point differential? That lets you know if we still dominate. It's 30, which is lower than what it was. Remember earlier in the video, is at like 50. So it's getting there, but I don't know how it's going to get there. It's getting there. Oh, there's a loss to the Celtics. The Celtics might have our number low key. See them in the playoffs, I guess. Okay, we're in the finals and we just lost game one. This probably means nothing, but we just lost game one in the finals. 
Game two, we win. Did we win by a bunch? Okay, yeah. What? I don't know what happened in this first game, but I was I was getting hopeful. But I don't know if it's gonna. Yeah. Oh, the Mavs won get one game, and that that was it. Man, I thought that was a possibility, bro. It wasn't. I cannot believe how dominant this team. I mean, again, it does make sense considering you know the circumstances with this. Uh, but I I just thought that maybe some team i've played listen i've created god's god squads in 2k before they get eliminated to the eighth seed you know so i just figured that 2k was gonna be 2k and boom and year seven something dramatic happens but nope nope going into year number 24 and nobody's even come close <laughs> one loss in the finals i was like oh here it is and it what it wasn't it it wasn't it um it's 2051 right flying cars all over the place um, no gas is needed in those cars. And it's a 2-2 series between the Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons. The Bulls lost a, a career high, it feels like. Six games in the regular season. Six of them thanks. Uh, five of them being on the road. And we're going into game five tied. So I don't know what to really expect. But we simcasting it. Because this, this is not going to be the end, is it? It's not going to be the end. I stopped my simulation for no reason because this was a massacre. So they won this game by 12 and they won the second game by two. Um, look at the look at the shot chart here. Everybody's shooting around the same amount. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? I'd be winning MVP averaging like 16 points. But that was, man, that was an adventure. Ha, 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 ha. And then we get to the finals and we lose one game. I mean, if there's any silver lining, we lost three total games in this playoff run, which means that maybe something is about to happen. Pro probably not. 2-2 two -two series in the finals, 2052. Dallas Mavericks. I don't, who, who's on your team? I'm excited. I'm excited about this potentially ending. I have been recording for like four hours. Uh, 95 overall, Eugene Burks is still there. He's got Tyrone Love. Who's old and washed at this point? I mean, not washed, but he's old. Once upon a time, he's like a 95 overall, y'all. 2-2 two, two series. One by one. Lost by 50 almost. One, what was the defense here for the Bulls? I'm not complaining. Tyrone Love, do your thing. And then like, it seems like when we win, we blow him out. And that, oh, that was a close one. Dang, bro. We're just too good for our own good. 32 straight seasons of NBA championships. I could have miscounted for sure. But um, 30 some, 30. Which means that like, worst case scenario, I still got 20 years left for simulating. That's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, that same team that just ran, you know, to six with us. We run into them again and then they beat us. But the only problem is... One of the dudes was already 35, and I don't know if he's going to get him the same type of production, bro. So, we back on the simulation. We got another series. We got another series. We're in 2055. The Indiana Pacers I got us on a 2-2. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they were the 2 seed last season. So, they got some hoopers over there. Uh, they got 390 overalls and then an 89, but two of their both shooting guards, which kind of sucks. But, hey, it's a 2-2 series right now. Uh, big win for the Bulls. Three point win. I feel like every time we lose, it's close. If you can keep it close, you might be able to win. Okay. Three, two. Every time, bro. It just it's not it's not even a real competition, bro. Oh my god. They be giving us that false old hope. You go, you tie it two two, and I'm like, let me let me turn the cameras back on. And then you fumble it. You just need two more wins. Two more wins. Those players are gonna retire saying to their kids. We took them to six, and that's gonna be that's gonna be a big deal. But what about the team that's gonna say we defeated them? You got you gotta want to be that team. Ten losses in the regular season, like destroys everything we've ever had before. I'm showing you this playoffs because, t like, I mean, this is the worst we've ever looked. So I'm very curious if that means what I think it means, and it it doesn't. It doesn't mean that, but we lost three games in the playoffs in three different series. It is 2060. It is 2060, and I am losing my mind. I feel like I've been here for 60 hours. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I, th I, I don't know if it's happening, but I think it's happening. It is a 3-2 series, the Atlanta Hawks way. I, I'm just so deep into it. I just assumed, I just assumed that there was no, I was just going to simulate these 50 years. I've just been sitting here. And um, I, I don't really know what's happening. Travis Henderson um, is leading this team. They need one more game. Can they do it? Oh my God. The Atlanta Hawks in the terror of the NBA. Let's go see who's on their roster. I cannot but This ain't even no crazy team. Travis Hernan Henderson is the greatest basketball player of all time. He took out the Chicago Bulls. And what was that, six? Was that, what was that, seven? I don't know. He took out the Chicago Bulls, bro. Wow, that's insane. This Bulls team ended up being 80 and two. They were 80 and two. Let's see how this went. Game one, they win by two. Game two, they win by, oh, I'm sorry. No, that was game six I just saw. So game one, they win by eight. Game two, they lose by seven. Game three, they won by like 20 plus. Game four, they lose by 20. Game five, they win by two. And then this was the game six win by two moment. Wow, that is insane. Can they close it out though? Can they close out and win the championship? Because it will be the greatest season of all time if they can and they don't. Oh man, what a fail, bro. What a fail. They got all the way there just to lose. Okay, we are in the year 2065. If you go over here, Kenny Beecham is the all-time lead scorer in NBA history. Cool. But if we go over here to past champions, do I need to count all of these? I'll count them all. Even though I guess I could do the math, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'd rather count. 43 seasons of dominance. Um, we were at the finish line, bro. It was it was seven more years. It's all we took until we this whole thing was ending regardless. Um, but we did it, man. 40, wow. That's a lot of years, bro. It's a lot of years. I do want to say I appreciate you watching. Um, I don't know how long the actual video is, but I promise I've been filming for like five hours, you know, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did leave it a like and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.